This is actually under the Microsoft catalog for app templates, Microsoft Teams. This is our first collaboration with the SharePoint team. We are collaborating with one of the solutions that's already on their lookbook, which is called New Employee Onboarding. So what we did is used SharePoint as a backend so that it's very cost effective and it's structured in any way. It's kind of like the what previous demo covered already in the new employee onboarding list. And then we built like a Teams app on top of that. So let me show you the SharePoint solution really quickly and then we will go to the Teams part of it. What we are trying achieve here is to make new employees really productive uh, in a matter of time and also especially in the COVID-19 situation it's harder for them to connect to the existing teams to make that simple to nudge them and to also have uh, them relate training so that they can get onboarded quickly. So let me start this is what the solution looks like for SharePoint. This is a complete uh, SharePoint site of the shares that you can deploy and then if you go here you can find the welcome to your next adventure and the new hire checklist. So this is essentially um, a very easy to maintain way of like the whole uh, day one to like whatever, like new, normally uh, new employees do a 90 uh, day um, period for training. So this is day one to like week 12 of that training that you can define. You can define it and classify it by a topic um, as well. And then you can just paste the resource link here, whether it's a video, whether it's a deck, whether it's an external link, you can paste that link here, paste an image and then Teams app will pick it up. So let me show you some of that magic. Uh, yeah, there we go. I've already logged in. So once an admin sets that up or an HR team, that's why we kept SharePoint in the first place so that it's very, very easy uh, for like a learning coordinator team or a human resources team to manage the content which is going to new employees. Um, so this once the SharePoint is set up, this is the welcome card on Teams spot. Um, once you install it and then um, as a new employee, you would see like these helpful buttons that you can introduce yourself. So a quick fun activity, which is very common for all customers that you can do before you get into the whole. Oh my God, I have to do this training uh, type of thing. And then there is also a take a tour so that new employees can understand what this app is about. Um, for example, it shows that, OK, you can write a quick introduction about yourself. You can do a new employee checklist, which is where the SharePoint part of it comes in and the app helps out new employees in um, sort of uh, notifying them in a structured manner. So every week you will get your tasks for um, the new employee checklist and then you can complete those tasks and mark them as done. Um, and the last but not the least very important thing that uh, HR teams usually do, which is that send a pulse survey and uh, ask new employees for feedback. So we have enabled that as a separate command that anytime new employees want to share something, they can share it using this. So it will expand and then your feedback can be routed. Yeah, so there we go. Sorry, I've done that already. So this is test and this can be submitted and then this goes to the HR team directly. They get notified whenever they have the feedback and they can also download this as a report. So let's start with the actual introduction. Let's see what happens when I click on introduce myself. So this app is beautiful in that way that like as an admin person, when you are deploying the app, you're installing the app in your company. All you really need to do is create a list for all of the new employees. We pick up the mapping for the managers uh, using your Active Directory, like if you're using that already. And you can also pick up the description and everything which is editable here. All of these questions are configurable. So you these are again coming from the same SharePoint solution that I just showed here so that like if for like another customer wants like instead of favorite food, uh, you want to have a different question. You can actually configure that as an HR team as well. So let me just put like pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? Oh, sorry, it's capital. Okay, and then movie of your choice. For some reason, I saw a meme and then slogan. Uh, always tested. So then. Let's see. 
this will give you a feedback that okay thanks so much i've shared it with your manager and as a new employee you don't need to worry about like notifying your manager that hey i've posted this introduction and as a manager also you don't need to notify the new employee that please type something about yourself so that i can share your introduction with the extended team so then let's test this out um, i already logged in as the manager uh, in the interest of time so as a manager you can instantly get notified that okay this is the person and then as you can see like pizza and inception so show here so i can if i'm not happy with this like this is uh, maybe as a manager, you want more meaty uh, introduction or you have some ideas that could really uh, excite the extended team in knowing you better. Uh, so you can actually type comments here and then uh, please write. Yeah. So like this will now go back here and then I will receive a notification as a new employee that OK, your introduction is not great. So like let's edit it quickly. And then let me add like pizza and got really unhealthy options. Okay, and then again it went back to the manager so that as a manager now I can see like these uh, introductions updated. This is a very common practice where as managers we want to post um, these new hire introductions in a channel in a team so that we can get the engagement started and get them introduced to the extended team. So you can easily do that like all of the teams that the manager is part of will automatically populate here the channel so you can post it this in a channel and then it will appear in that particular team and then the extended team can comment uh, do a one on one chat with this person so let's see if this works uh, i should get gotten the notification all right I'm logged in on a different account. OK, so as a manager, you can also do this in your uh, team and you post it. Uh, what else can you do? Uh, so there is this new employee checklist, share feedback and review introductions. As a manager, like it is also important that you don't get bombarded with these requests all the time. So what we have done to um, uh, take care of that is that you can actually use these bot commands. This will not show right now anything because you have all no introductions to review. But if you had multiple people in your team reporting to you who joined, you can actually see all of these introductions as a list so that you can approve them uh, in one shot and post them in one shot in a team that you want to. So let's go to our new employees again. Um, there is also a nice help button like any time a new employee is stuck. Um, they can just ask for help and you can customize like what you put here as well. Like all of these, um, the, the logo, the app name, everything is customizable. So if I click on new employee checklist, I land to the SharePoint site um, so that I can see that, OK, this was my day one. This is my day two. If I actually go back in the app, then um, it actually shows me the entire weekly plan one by one. So if I click on new employee checklist through the bot command, it will actually just show me all of the tasks that I need to do in week one and not bombard you with like week uh, one to like say week eight plan. This definition, some of the important configurations that we have kept um, very friendly for like HR admin teams so that they don't require like much configuration, much maintenance of this app. For example, uh, one of them which is very useful is the definition of new hire. Like as a new employee, you get this app, right? But um, definitely after some time, you're not a new employee anymore. So say for example, an on an average, it's the frequency is 90 days. So after 90 days, say you're not a new employee anymore, that variable, that time period is configurable very easily so that the app will stop notifying and bugging uh, that employee after that time period has passed. So these are some of the good things about this app. One thing which I could not show in the demo because I couldn't log into one more HR account, which I would like to cover really quickly is uh, this one. So this HR feedback piece that I was also showing you is also configurable, uh, which is a very, very common ask for us. Um, let me just show you that quickly. So uh, as I was mentioning before that Feedback is also really, really important, right? Like uh, as a new employee, you want to see uh, and get that pulse feedback. So as a um, 
HR or admin person, you can actually just create a forms link or any other survey tool that you use, put that link inside the Teams app, and then it will notify the new hires on a frequency which is again configurable. So whether you want to notify them weekly or bi-weekly or monthly is configurable. And then as an HR person, you will get like notified in your team and then you can download all this feedback as well. The last thing I would like to show you is also this, like let me click on like new hand onboarding. So if I do the new employee checklist, um, yeah, let me actually go to this one. Sorry for that. I, I went into the manager account instead of the new employee account. Yeah, so you can also see your week one plan like right now. I just refresh the whole view. So it is just week one and then you can see in week one. I have like two things to do. What we have also kept configurable is this um, differentiation between a mandatory activity versus an optional activity. Like if something is in help resource, you can clearly state that in the SharePoint uh, list here and then we can actually pick that up and show it as that. And then you can see each and every of these learning um, expanded into a card of its own. And then if you click on view learning, uh, right now we just put an image here, but it could be a presentation. Any asset that can open inside Teams will open inside Teams. Um, any asset, an external link which you put here uh, will open in a browser. So at any point of time, again, you can share feedback on this particular item as a new hire, and it will be routed to the uh, HR team. Um, some more goodness uh, is that the, it comes with a full getting started guide. So let me show you that. So some things that we come across is that can I integrate with my existing system? Absolutely, you can. You don't need the uh, full fledged uh, SharePoint solution. Like if you do have a SharePoint or an existing onboarding site of some nature, you can actually integrate with that site. What you can also do additionally is that if any of these pages, like another common ask was uh, like YAML communities or my leadership uh, pages, if I want to pin them inside the app, uh, you can do that as well. Um, yeah, so let's go back to this. The app and the storage of it, uh, cost of it, everything is in your environment. All really we need is that um, one public URL here to hit Teams as a cloud so that we can actually hit Teams um, and use this app on Teams. It comes with a full setting guide that, okay, this is the step by step procedure um, of going through setting up the SharePoint site and the team site. Uh, but the SharePoint site, like if there is an existing solution is optional, so you can also just go with Teams only. But, but we really like how the SharePoint site is structured and uh, we really hope that our customers benefit from it. These are the variables uh, that are configurable and so they're very easy to understand when you configure like in the previous screenshots as I was showing you. The last but not the least very important question, uh, cost estimate. So how much does this app cost? So um, as with all app catalog in there are I think like some 40 of those. This is only charged for the users that actually have the app. So for a company like say if I have 10,000 people in my company, um, only 10% of that is new hire. So that is like about 1000 users. If they have the app and only the managers have the app and the HR team, then it does not cost that much because you don't need the app really for everybody in your company. So we have like a full detailed description that you can share with your IT, but ultimately it boils down to around $75 uh, for a thousand, thousand users um, per month. So this is the cost. Um, but having said that, like the app is also very customizable, so you can also extend it. Uh, what we have seen our customers do is that um, club this with another app template, which is for uh, frequently asked questions, so that all the questions that new hires normally ask to HR team can be preempted here, and then they can have their training plan structure. So the cost goes a little up there, but uh, essentially SharePoint is already in your plan, so it doesn't cost that much for installing this app, and the deployment is really easy. It takes about like half an hour to deploy this if we follow the guide. So I'll just stop here. I hope uh, you really like the employee onboarding solution. Um, it's really popular right now, um, so would love feedback on this. Thank you.
Excellent. Thank you, Nithi. And, and just to pinpoint that the example estimate there was $75 overall, not per user. So, so no. uh, and that was basically five, because five of the Azure users. usage. Yes, yes, indeed. But thank you, Nithi, and really, really, really great stuff. And it's, it's um, just a recap on the, on the Microsoft Teams app templates. Those are production ready, free reference solutions. So you can, and they're open source. You can pull them down, you can use them, you can use them any way you want. You can install them, them as they are, or you can take them and use them for innovation for your own, own implementation as well. So that's really, really cool.